That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Iconic words spoken by Neil Armstrong over four decades ago. There's no doubt it inspired us to ask, where else could we go? Our goal is to put four humans on the planet Mars in the year 2023. Mars One, a private Dutch company, is already planning several missions to the Red Planet. When these people land, uh, we will make sure that there is a habitable settlement waiting for them. Their plan? In 2016, a communication satellite and supplies will be sent to Mars. A rover will follow two years later. Then in 2020, life support pods, which will be assembled by the rover. Then in 2022, four astronauts will begin their eight-month voyage to the Red Planet. A lot of people think of this as a one-way trip. I think of it as a sort of a, an interesting beginning. When I look up and I see a little uh, red uh, dot up there, it's always been fascinating for me. Peter Felgentreff hopes to be one of the first settlers on that little red dot. But he and his crewmates will need extensive training for nearly a decade, and all while living in a challenging environment. They have things that are like hurricanes there. The air pressure is much lower, certainly the temperature is lower. Uh, on the extreme side, I believe it gets down to about 161 degrees Fahrenheit. Who's best to make the flight? The person that you would like to be stuck with on an uninhabited island. A simulated manned mission to Mars has already been completed by the European Space Agency, exploring the extreme isolation of a 520-day trip to Mars. The result? A, quote, pleasant and unexpected feeling of harmony among the crew. But what if that isolation was permanent? And that's actually our biggest challenge, to find the people that can cope with this isolation and with, with this remote environment being so far away from all the other people on the Earth. It's very possible. In less than 10 years, perhaps another moon landing event for the new generation. I'm meteorologist Jen Carfagno. Everybody's always concerned about that. Everybody talks about this being a one-way mission. Of course, you know, I have, uh, I have a wife. I, have, uh, I don't have children. Um, I've been uh, married for uh, about 10 years now. Uh, I have uh, some animals, um, specifically a parrot and um, also now a cat. And, um, you know, that's uh, pretty much the extent of, uh, extent of my earthly ties. I have uh, family uh, spread throughout the uh, uh, throughout the, uh, I, I'd say Europe and the United States, uh, a small amount of family. Uh, but for the most part, I've always been very independent. And uh, my wife and I, we've also been very independent, uh, meaning that, uh, uh, you know, she's always known that I've had a strong interest in this type of work. And uh, it's something that we've always accepted. So 